Alrighty y'all, I'm Samantha with the Hillbilly Kitchen and today I'm going to be making fudge icing. This recipe is made on the cooktop, so that's where the majority of this video is going to be. Uh, it is a it has a simple list of ingredients, but it's a little tricky to make, and I'll try to give you the best instructions possible so that you get the perfect fudge icing. Now, this icing I use in place of ganache. Also, I hate ganache, and so does everybody else. I don't know why we put ganache on there. It sounds fancy, looks fancy, tastes terrible. So, you can substitute this for ganache, which is what I'm going to be doing on the chocolate covered strawberry cake and on several other cakes in the future. So, if you want something that actually tastes good, doesn't look quite as shiny as ganache, but is 10 times more delicious. So, let's go over to the cooktop and make some veg icing. Okay, for this recipe, we're going to start with a medium saucepan with two cups of white granulated sugar. To that we're going to add three heaping tablespoons of cocoa powder, really big heaping tablespoons. And we're going to add some milk. non-homogenized so I have to shake it. Add two-thirds of a cup. Okay. Now I've got it on the smallest stove I have. I'm going to turn the heat on uh, medium, somewhere between medium and low to get started. <clears throat> and then use a wooden spoon to stir the ingredients. Now you can see the only other ingredients I have to add are my butter and my vanilla. So there are simple ingredients in this recipe, but at the same time you sort of have to get your timing right in order to get the right consistency. If you know anything about making fudge, you know that you have to, uh, the longer you heat the fudge, the longer the heat is on it, the longer that that chemical reaction is going to go on that creates the uh, hard candy uh, effect that you get with fudge. And if you, obviously, if you cook fudge or if you cook this too long, you're going to wind up with uh, that glass candy, that little hard candy, that's almost so, uh, if it were not for the cocoa powder, it would be so clear you could see through it. So we don't want that. We're going for a nice candy fudge type consistency. <clears throat> and what we're doing now is we're stirring it all together and once we get it all stirred you have to keep stirring it. This is fudge, this is basically a big pot of sugar and if you don't stir it, if you let the heat sit on it too long then it will burn on the bottom and it will ruin the taste of your fudge icing. Did you all know that in the Bible there was a queen of Israel? Uh, a ruler, and I'm not talking about Jezebel who ruled the side of her husband or whose husband ruled the side of her, whatever. I'm talking about there was a ruler over Israel uh, who was a woman, and she was a villain. She was a really bad, bad uh, character. <clears throat> she came to power after the death of the king. She killed off all of the uh, seed, all the children of her predecessor, except for one who was saved and who remained in the temple in the house of the Lord. Uh, and uh, that queen reigned for six years, I think. 
and when it finally caught up to her, things did not end well for her. So, there's one for you to read about. Another one of those interesting stories that you likely will never hear unless you pick up the Bible and read it for yourself. Okay, it's all stirred together now. I'm going to increase my heat to medium, or just under medium. And stir it very slowly, very lightly, but continually until I get a boil, until I start to see the big bubbles come up. You can also use this fudge as a substitute for uh, dipping your strawberries in on Valentine's Day. Don't buy that uh, waxy tasting chocolate dipping stuff to do your strawberries in. You can use this. Uh, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to bring it to a boil and then we're going to add our butter and our vanilla. Then we're going to bring it to a boil again for about three and a half minutes. If you want to use it to be a hard uh, icing or a hard chocolate coating, then boil it for about five minutes. Okay, that's the boil I'm looking for. Cut the heat off. And open the stick of butter and put the whole thing in there. Now before you cut the heat back on, stir the fudge until the butter is completely melted and disappeared. Okay, pretty much gone now. You can cut the heat back on. Turn it to medium and you want to return it to a boil. When it gets to a boil, set yourself a timer for 3 minutes and 45 seconds. And I mean, I'll let you know when we're to a boil that's significant. This has a lot of milk in it compared to uh, the fudge that you would make in you know, for like holidays or something. So it stays runny until it cools down. Okay, that's the boil I'm looking for. Now, fiddle with your temperature to keep it at this uh, boil. You don't want it coming up out of the pot, but you want it steady. And keep stirring. I've got my temperature down to low now. Your only job now is to keep stirring uh, for the next, let's see, I've got three minutes left. Your only job is to keep stirring steady until your timer goes off. Okay, now that the timer has gone off, go ahead and add one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. And the reason I add vanilla last is because vanilla extract, and any extract for that matter, will diminish its taste the longer it is cooked. So just incorporate that and turn your heat off and take it off of the stove. Okay. Now here it is straight off of the stove. It's still very runny because it is very, very hot. And the longer you let it sit, the more it'll uh, start to uh, get a little bit harder, kind of like kind of like candy, kind of like fudge. You should be able to break it apart. You know, it should be that stiff when it's cooled down. So that's all all that's left to do. I'm going to take plenty of pictures when this stuff cools down to let you all see what it looks like, <clears throat> so you all can see the consistency of it. It is so delicious, and you can see it right now. It's easy to work with. So if I have like a frozen cake maybe a frozen strawberry, uh, chocolate covered strawberry cake. Uh, I could take this stuff just a little bit cooler than it is now and pour it over the cake just like ganache. And man, this stuff tastes a hundred times better than that bitter old waxy tasted chocolate ganache. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy this fudge icing. It is one of my family's favorites. It's, my dad says that it is the best chocolate icing. So thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. I'm Samantha and I confess that Jesus Christ is Lord.